All right, now we are with Jeff, and he's got an alligator. Now, when you took the alligator out of the box, he was not happy, but he seems to be calm now. Yeah, he settled down. He settled down a bit. He's, he's one of our show gators, so he knows the routine. <laughs> he knows the routine. <laughs> so what do you have there? Is this a... Um, it's an American native? alligator. Oh, American, okay. Of all the crocodilians, there are only two species of alligator. The American alligator found in the southeastern United States and the Chinese alligator uh, found in just small pockets in, in China. And they look very similar, but the American alligators can get quite large. Yes, they can. I lived in Gainesville and got a chance to see many. Uh, they would just walk around like deer do here. Yeah. And um, yeah, they don't have much to worry about other than tractor trailer trucks when they cross the highway. Oh, nice. <laughs> Seriously, a lot of people, you know, would hit them on the highway. Oh, wow. Well, in the 60s and 70s, their numbers dwindled to where they were put on the endangered species list. Mm -hmm. and, uh, Was that because of boots and handbags? Well, uh, that, you know, just unchecked hunting like that, and then uh, habitat loss, you know, everybody, big building boom in Florida and a lot of people move in there so right. yeah their numbers went down considerably and they're, they're in better shape now. Yeah well they put up these um, barriers on the highway now to protect them from coming out onto the road and to protect people who have to stop and go to the bathroom on the side of the road. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, pull over honey we need to change the baby. Wait a minute where is the baby? So how big is he? Well this one is uh, probably approaching three feet but uh, they can get over 10 feet long. We cool. have a, a 12 footer at Reptile Land, Rocky, and he's about 650 pounds. So. Wow. Now, um, if he, I, I know this sounds really stupid, but if he bit you, his teeth look so small, but they're probably pretty sharp. Yeah, they're sharp. And uh, he would draw blood. <laughs> <laughs> he's, and plus he's got a lot of power in that little jaw of his. Yeah, they're, they're strong. Uh, an animal this size, if he ate a, a small turtle, he would have no trouble, uh, you know, cracking through the shell. Oh, so. wow. <laughs> Could you imagine so that? What does he eat other than small turtles? <laughs> well, in the wild, they'll eat anything. Uh, fish, you know, small turtles, uh, even smaller alligators. I mean, alligators and crocodiles are, are uh, cannibalistic. So oh. a lot of the young uh, crocodilians stay pretty well hidden hmm. because the adults will eat them. Would eat them. Their parents will eat them? Well, th Mama won't. Mama is a very good mother and she will actually, uh, from the time she makes a nest until they hatch, she'll even carry the youngsters down to the water in her, in her jaws. But other, especially bigger male crocodilians, alligators and crocodiles, will eat smaller ones. Wow. He's starting to open his mouth. Yeah, yeah he's not happy with you. <laughs> he's, <laughs> look at that. Yeah. His mouth is coming open. He's really sick. Oh, it's like, okay, me. time to bite. Is that what it is? <laughs> <laughs> There's a fruit bat over there, buddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he won't eat the fruit bat. Now, in captivity, Jeff, what do you like to feed this guy? Uh, rodents are, are the biggest part of their diet. There is also a prepared diet. There is a gator biscuit. And I don't want to know what's in the gator biscuit. <laughs> well, I don't know if I could tell you. But okay. But, you know, it's similar to a dog food type of biscuit. And you can get large and small ones. And uh, that provides, you know, a, a, a good balanced part of the diet. But you, you can't beat a rodent for a nice occasionally package. chuck in a mouse for them? Yes. Ooh. Dead or alive? Well, they're dead. Yeah. We oh. get our rodents frozen and nice neat packs, just like... You it's can like find them in a, in a supermarket. Oh yeah. my gosh. Go to the frozen food section and get some mice. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Mouse sickles. Do you defer them or? <laughs> yeah, we, uh, we no, we, we thaw them out. <laughs> we see the fur later. Uh, do they defer them? <laughs> no. All right. In their own way. <laughs> in their own way. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, that's that. fabulous. I'm glad we learned that today. All right. We've got one more guest to join us here on the program. Uh, Jeff Cook here from Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land. Uh, we've had the rat snake, we've had the fruit bat, 
Right now, the crocodile, the American alligator is here, and we've got the western diamondback rattlesnake coming up next. He's cool. Yeah. Don't want to miss it. You'll get to hear him live on the radio. Yes. He's not a quiet <laughs> snake. It's 8.50 with Drew and the crew.